things to notice when you're replacing this plate you can see I've got the bearings back in their spaces with fresh grease on them this cassette pin goes through that hole that I'm pointing at there this what we'll call that plastic leather needs to go through the plate there this pin is going to go through that slot depending on how raised that is this protrusion on this plate is going to lift this idler away from this reel table and also this part here needs to go under there. So um, I think probably the easiest way is to slide that under there, get all these pins lined up, and then using maybe your fingernail, but I'm using a pair of tweezers to move that lever out of the way. Then that's sitting okay. And at that point, you can start to replace the various washers and e-clips. And uh, quickly talk about the purpose of the various plates and earrings that are removed. This earring here stops this plate from tipping out that way. This earring and washer stops it from tipping out this way. That protrusion that fits under this bit that holds the cassette upright also stops that from coming out that way. The bearings allow it to slide. This plate here, if that weren't there, then the force of the cassette could push against this plate and cause friction, whereas uh, the cassette body is just going to hit that tab. It doesn't matter how much pressure you put on there, um, because it's got a bearing underneath, then that's still going to roll. And then the, the spring that goes on there, I haven't actually um, put the pinch roller arm back on, but that's just like a little bit of suspension for this coming up here. So it's tight against the capstan so the tape can be pulled through without without putting unnecessary stress on the tape. There's probably more than one way to refit this pinch roller arm but the way I'm doing it is I've already hooked the spring on like that and I'm keeping my finger on it before I slide that down. I find that's slightly more easy than reaching underneath and trying to hook the spring on with tweezers. I've filmed replacing an e-clip whole bunch of times before but in case you haven't seen one of those videos all you do is you place it hard up against the pin you may want to keep it in place with a fingertip and then you need, use needle nose pliers and it'll click into place.